Hi you three. Today I'm going to start a book with you in the afternoon or whenever you want to read it. Um, and uh, it's called Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I don't know at the moment what's wrong with me. All my books are about monsters. I'm going through a monster phase. This is a famous book um, by Mary Shelley, but it's not actually the original book. It's been retold by somebody because the original story is very, very long. So this is a shorter version. You see it's quite skinny. This is a shorter version, and we say shorter versions have been abridged. So this is the abridged version. Here it goes. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Retold by... Who's it retold by? It's retold by Patrick Nobes. So he's abridged it. So let's have a look. Chapter 1. Oh, it's got a picture. I like the pictures first. Here we go. Let's have a little picture. Oh, it's one of those old-fashioned boats, isn't it? It looks like a mast. Captain, something is moving on the ice. Look over there. Mm -hmm. Right, let's start then. Chapter one. I'll point to words. Oh, I'm trying not to, to uh, wobble anything because it's a bit long, isn't it? Is it focused? No, it's all back to front. There we go. Captain, something is moving on the ice. Look over there. The sailor stood at the top of the mast high above the captain. His hands pointed away from the ship across the miles of ice that covered the sea. The captain looked to the north, where the sailor was pointing. He saw something coming fast towards the ship across the ice. He put his telescope to his eye and threw it he could see the shapes of ten dogs pulling a sled a sledge over the ice. He could also see the driver of the sled, a huge figure, much bigger than a man. The sled came nearer and nearer to the ship. Oh, see, soon it was only a quarter of a mile from the ship. No one, oh wait, no one, no one, no one, needed a telescope now to see the huge figure of the driver, figure in shape. Suddenly, the sled went behind a mountain of ice and disappeared. At that moment, another sled appeared. It too was moving fast and was clearly chasing the first sled. This driver was a smaller figure shape, more like an, an ordinary man. Faster and faster the dogs ran. Then the second sled also disappeared behind the mountain of ice. Bit wonky. Mm, I need a bit colder. It says here, ready? Two hours passed. The sleds did not appear again. Nothing moved on the ice. Soon night came, and in the night there was a storm. In the morning, the sailors saw that great pieces of ice were floating around the ship. Suddenly, the sailor on the mast shouted again, Captain, I can see a man on the ice! The sailor was pointing to a piece of ice that was floating near the ship. A man was sitting on the ice. Oh, it's a picture. Oh, it's a picture. What's that supposed to be? Oh, I can see it's a ship. You see the ship? The ship's there. It's one of those old-fashioned sailing ships. And this is a great big stormy wave. And the caption says, Soon night came, and in the night there was a storm. Anyway, back to the story, were we? A man was sitting on the ice, and... And... Near him was a broken sled. The man was nearly dead, from cold and could not walk. 
the sailors carried him carefully onto the ship and took him to the captain, who said, Welcome to my ship, and I am the captain, and my name is Robert Walton. Thank you, Captain Walton, said the man. My name is Frankenstein, Victor Frankenstein. Then he fainted and said no more. Two days passed before the man was strong enough to talk. And then the captain asked him to tell his story. I'm trying to catch someone, said Frankenstein. That is why I have come so far north on the ice. We saw you following someone, the captain said. He was huge, much bigger than a man. We saw his sled just in front of you on the night before the storm. I'm pleased you all saw that huge figure, Frankenstein said. Perhaps that will help you to believe my story. During the days, while the captain worked on the ship, Frankenstein wrote down his story, and each evening he read what he had written to the captain. Here is Victor. Frankenstein's story. End of chapter one. In this book, Victor Frankenstein is actually a man. Most people, when they hear the word Frankenstein, think that Frankenstein is the monster. Not at all, guys. Frankenstein is the man. And he, this person here, he's not Frankenstein. That's the monster. So in the book Frankenstein, Frankenstein is a man and the monster, he doesn't actually get a name, he's just called the monster and the monster's the monster. Okay, I shall read you chapter two tomorrow.